Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest debates in India's defense circles, which fighter jet should India buy? As India's security challenges grow, the Indian Air Force is on the lookout for advanced fighter jets to strengthen its fleet. With various options available globally, the decision is critical for the country's defense preparedness. Currently, India operates a mix of fighter jets like the Rafale, Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, and Tejas. However, with aging fleets and increasing threats, the need for next-generation jets is urgent. One of the top contenders is the Dassault Rafale F-4, a more advanced version of the Rafale that India already operates. It offers cutting-edge avionics, better weapon systems, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, making it a natural choice for compatibility and logistics. Another option is the F-21 by Lockheed Martin, specially designed for India. It's a modernized version of the F-16, offering advanced radar systems, long-range missiles, and lower operational costs. However, critics argue that the F-21 is based on older technology, which could limit India's future air superiority. The Eurofighter Typhoon is another high-performance jet that excels in air-to-air -air combat and ground attacks. It boasts excellent maneuverability and advanced radar systems but comes with higher maintenance costs and complex technology. Russia's Su-57 Felon is a fifth-generation stealth fighter that could be a game-changer for India. It offers advanced stealth capabilities, high speed, and long-range missiles. However, concerns about reliability and delayed deliveries could make India hesitant. Meanwhile, Sweden's Saab Gripen E is a cost-effective, versatile fighter jet with advanced electronics and weapon systems. It's known for its easy maintenance and lower operational costs, but India's preference for twin-engine jets might work against it. Choosing the right fighter jet isn't just about technology, it's about geopolitics, cost, and future upgrades. Many experts believe India should go for a combination of jets to balance performance, cost, and strategic partnerships. So, what do you think? Should India expand its Rafale fleet, opt for stealth technology like the Su-57, or go for a mix of Western and Russian jets? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on defense technology and global innovations.